Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at a brand new sniper add-on created by Plus Mouse, who is the current author of Auctionator, and we're going to be going through exactly what it does, why it's useful, and how to set it up. So if you are somebody who has used TSM Sniper in the past and have been missing it, or you're somebody who wants to actually first time get into Sniper, then hopefully this add-on will solve all your issues. But first, we're going to be talking about exactly the requirements for it, what exactly sniping is, and then we're going to get in-depth into how to actually configure this add-on. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. First, going to talk about sniping and shopping scans. So in a reference of TSM, as you guys know, we can go on to the auction house, go to TSM, browse, you know, select whatever group you'd like and run a shopping scan. Now the difference between this and a sniper is that this scan is a one time deal. What this means is of course, this will take a very long time to actually scan everything. But once it's completed, then it will just show what this is. If somebody posts something, you know, after it, all of that, it's not actually constantly scanning. And generally, shopping scans are used for, you know, materials and not really in terms of flipping. Now, what sniping is, is basically a list of items yet again because of the new auction house, which you will be able to constantly scan at this group just in case somebody posts a super cheap item. And because the scan is consistently checking, it will show up on your screen. And then of course, as long as you're the first one, you can quickly purchase it. So for example, let's say you were trying to, you know, find cheap legendaries. Maybe if you did a shopping scan of legendaries, you know, you see nothing. However, right after that shopping scan finishes, somebody accidentally post a, you know, rank seven for one gold instead of 100,000 gold. You will not see that unless you back out and run the scan again. However, if you're running a sniper scan of your legendary group, then all of a sudden that is posted, you know, the sniper automatically rechecks the items, it sees it, and you're able to buy it, of course, if no one beats you to it. So that is kind of the difference between sniping and shopping. Sniping is more consistent and it's constantly scanning without you having to personally reset the scan every single time. Now, getting into the add-on itself, there are a few requirements. Now, the first one, of course, is that you need Auctionator. This is a built-in add-on that is combined with Auctionator, created by the current author of Auctionator plus Mouse, so you kind of need that parent add-on. As you can see down here, this is the addition to the general Auctionator. So, Auctionator is what you will need. The second add-on you need is the sniper add-on itself, which is called the point blank sniper. And this will add this little tab right here to the side. Then lastly, you either need TSM and or the undermine journal. So Plus Mouse is awesome and has made this work for TSM users as well as non TSM users. So generally, if you do not use Trade Skill Master at all, I would recommend or you have to get the Undermine Journal add-on, but you technically can skip the Undermine Journal if you have Trade Skill Master, or you can have both if you want more options. It's completely up to you, but you need at least one of those. After that, the installation process is complete, and now you actually just have to tweak the add-on itself. So once you guys go into this snipe feature, as you will see, you will basically, you know, see a blank screen. There will be nothing in this list right here, as well as this will be blank as well. So the first thing you have to do is create an actual list to snipe. Now, Plus Mouse has provided a starter sniping list for individuals who are not exactly sure what they should, you know, be looking for. So I will leave that in the description down below. Also, I highly recommend joining the Auctionator Discord as that's when you're going to be able to ask questions, uh, give feedback, and also find these things that I'm talking about, whether it's list, etc. But in 
in the link of the description, there will be a string which you can copy and you will basically be creating a shopping list. So what you'll be able to do is click the import button right here, copy and paste very similar to TSM profiles or TSM groups, if you are familiar, and then you will have to hit import. After that, you should be getting a starter sniper list, which as you can see has a ton of different items. Now this comes from Plus Mouse himself. Technically, this is a very broad group that was made based on NA realms. So EU, of course, can still use this, but of course, keep in mind that, you know, if there's a certain item that only really does well on NA, it will probably be in your list and you might need to remove those. Also, another thing that they stress is, of course, this is a starter list, which is supposed to get you started. So it is recommended to edit this to your server, to your liking, and your needs. And of course, this just comes with practice and other things that you're looking for. But just taking a quick look at this shopping list, which you can see right here, a very, very large list. You will see things as different transmog pieces. At the start, we had different TCG mounts. We had some very high-end transmog. I believe there's some like recipes in here. There we go. And just a very large amount of items. So of course, if you're looking for a specific set, this is when you create your own shopping list. And so let's say you do in fact want to create your own shopping list. There are a few ways to go about it. Now, let's say you want to create a group yourself. So of course, if you were to edit this, you can simply delete whatever you need to, but let's say we want to create our own list. So what you could do is hit create a new shopping list, call this whatever you'd like, I have a blank one right here called pets. As you can see, there is nothing in this list. And then you could just put in different phrases of items that you want. So for example, of course, I would probably not recommend actually searching for these items, but let's say, but let's say you want to search, let's say death blossom. What you will be able to do is type in that name. In this case, it would be an exact search. You can even go as far as try to look at trade goods, go to herbs, etc. But all you have to do is hit add item. And now that search term is in there. And just to double check, if you click on it, as you can see, Death Blossom shows up. So basically you can repeat this process. Of course, it's a very long one, but if you were only looking for a few items, this is a way to do it. Now, another great way to do this is that you can actually use existing groups from TSM online. And how you can find groups online is if you go to tradeskillmaster.com, go under auctions, groups, and you can either view all groups or view top groups, and then just select one. Now, these groups are made by, you know, random people, so not all of them are, you know, reliable, but let's say you were to, you know, let's say we were looking for TBC trade goods. And as you can see, you can kind of tell what items are in this group. And all you have to do is copy this string, go back to the game, you can import it just like that, and then now you have that added. And then of course, what you can do is hit save as, trade goods, or goods, you know, whatever, and then you have a actual shopping list set. So technically you could even go back to Shayra's, you know, paste bin or any of the free kind of big paste bins for TSM, find their pet groups, etc. copy and paste if you're looking for pets. So you can either import or create a group yourself, but these are just a few ways to get started. Now, the next thing you have to do is actually be willing to snipe. So under this list, as you will see, there are four different settings which you can change, or main settings you can change. And the first one is you will have to type in the shopping list name. So going back to this list, the main one we're gonna be showcasing is that starter sniper list, which is right here. And keep in mind that it is cap sensitive. So right here, we have the starter sniper list. Go in, type that exactly how it is listed, and then the start button will be highlighted. 
The next change you need to make is the price source. And this comes down to whether or not you have TSM or the Undermine Journal. So as I have both, I have both options, but you can either choose region or realm data using the Undermine Journal, or you can pick DB Market, DB Region Market Average, or DB Region Sale Average. It is personally up to you. For this case, I'm gonna use DB Market, and then the percent is the percent that you're looking for. So by default, basically it will show anything that is 15% of DB Market, AKA 85% off normal DB Market price. So this is looking for those very cheap deals. As you adjust this, the lower it goes, the less you will see. The higher it goes, the more deals you will see. However, there won't be much of deals if they're, you know, 80%. But those are the three main settings. And if you want to get a little bit more complicated, you can actually adjust what type of items it's searching for. So for example, as you know, the shopping list is very big. It has patterns, etc. So what you are able to do is let's say you only want to use this list, but you only want to use recipes. You can select that. And so now it will only scan the recipes of your shopping list. This is very useful as it will cut down time between scans. As you can see, I stopped the scan right here, but it'll tell you how many scans have gone through and it just allows it to refresh faster. Then, of course, you can choose if you want it to play a sound, if you want it to pause after items, that's personally up to you. But what we're gonna do is just use this. We're not gonna use any sort of class and we're gonna hit start. As you can see, it is processing and going through each item. And if something comes up, then it will show. As you guys know, I am on a medium pop server and we're also looking for a pretty low percentage. So honestly, it could probably take a while before we find something. As you can see, last scan took about 10 seconds and it is just showcasing that it's constantly scanning. Now for the purpose of this video, just to show you that it does work, we're gonna change the percentage to 60. After hitting that, as you can see, we're instantly seeing a ton of stuff. And I'm just gonna pause that so we don't hear that sound every single time. But as you can see, 60% of DB market, a lot of items come up. And then of course, you have to go through and decide if it's worth buying. For example, this one, it is 700,000 gold out of 1.4 million. So, you know, that is definitely a little bit high on the market, <laughs> a lot of it. But for the market value, it is doing its job. Moving on, we have all of these different items that are just relevant to DB market. Of course, if you are looking for pets, you may want to use the region average as you can sell them to different servers. But that is basically what this sniper add-on does. Now, just to give you guys a little bit of feedback, I have been using this for a few days off and on, and I have personally been able to pick up a pretty nice transmog piece, if I can find the name of it. I was able to pick up this shoulder piece, which has a region sale average for about 40,000 for about 15,000 gold. Sadly, TSM did not pick up the purchase, but I was able to purchase this for about 15,000 gold. It was on my laptop, which is probably why I can't see it here. Of course, I have yet to sell it, but I do in fact have it. Now from a member of my Discord, he showed me one of his screenshots, which I will put on screen, but he was able to buy the guillotine item for only 30,000 gold and he sold it for 140,000 and he purchased the fist for only 8,000. And he's been able to sell that for about 38. So that's about a 30K profit. And that other one is about 110K profit. So a lot of people are having success with this add-on. You can do it when you're playing other games in the background, doing homework. And then of course, once you hear that sound, you can look in and see what type of items the sniper has found. But Hopefully this tutorial gives you a little bit of idea of exactly what sniping is and how amazing this add-on is. 
Yet again, another shout out to Plus Mouse. Thank you so much for creating this add-on for the community. And of course, please go show them some love in their Discord and, you know, on Curse Forge, Wow Up, whatever add-on browser you use. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a good day.